vertex form to standard form. If you needed help with this one, I'm not going to be able to do my work right on it, but I'm going to start with problem number five. My intent is to do problem five, nine, and ten. So I'm going to do problem five, nine, and ten, vertex form to standard form. I'm going to have mine next to me, and I'm going to put my work off to the side because there's not enough space for my giant writing. If you need to attach paper, do so. I'm in vertex form. My A is four. What would the vertex of this actually be? What would the vertex of this actually be? Go ahead, Dusty. Not two. This is the common error that negative two. Yeah, don't forget. And I'm glad I just dropped this out here because don't forget it's the opposite. It's going to be negative two. We take the opposite of this sign, this stays the same, HK. Now, that's not what this assignment is about. This assignment is about taking something out of vertex form and converting it into our standard form, Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C. So I'm going to draw my box, and I'm going to multiply the binomial X plus 2 by itself. So I'm going to multiply the binomial X plus 2 by itself. Here's a couple more if anybody needs this. Anybody else? Alyssa, corrections or do you need this? So now that I'm going to just staple of your corrections to the front, Leanna, give me the first one. I'm going to multiply this together and get x squared, 2x, 2x, and 4. So when I pull this out of the box, I'm going to have to combine these like terms. That's going to give me a 4x. I'm going to go back and I'm going to put 4 times. Now I'm going to pull all of that quantity out of the boxes. x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now this is where many people run into issues. Right here is with the distributive property. The 4 needs to be multiplied by everything that we had from our box. So 4x squared plus 16x plus 16. And I can't forget to bring my minus 8. My parentheses ended, so now I just drop my minus 8 down. y equals 4x squared. I just combine those two like terms, the 16 minus 8 is going to give me plus 8. I'm going to do number 9 as well. A lot of people were uncomfortable with 9 because it has a fraction in it. We don't need to be afraid of the fraction. We just need to stop and think. 18 times the quantity x minus a third squared plus 5. Go ahead. Yep. Because these are, it's written right here as x plus 2. That's positive, that's positive. This is, we're taking this literally what it is. x plus 2 times x plus 2. I understand your thinking. Because when we have to pull the vertex out, we recognize the vertex is negative 2. But surely this box doesn't have anything to do with the vertex. Does that help a little bit? Okay. So I'm going to go on to this one. I'm going to slide my paper up now. Oh my god. First thing that I need to do... Good thing this is a video. First thing that I need to do is, again, multiply my binomial together. Don't freak out about this. X and negative one-third, X and negative one-third. Just real quick, I'm going to say this, too. Vertex is sitting here at a positive 35. H, K. Pull it out positive one stays the same. When I go through to multiply and fill my boxes, I have to think that hard. What's negative a third times x? Negative a third x. What's negative a third times x? Negative a third x. Now, what's the negative and negative going to give us? Positive. And what's one times one? What's three times three? Because the easiest thing to do with fractions is multiplying top times top, bottom times bottom. No need to freak out about these about the fractions. Just stop and think. When I'm going to go pull this out, I have, I'm in the hole a third of something. Oh, how about this? I ate a third of a pizza, and somebody came along and ate the other third of the pizza. So I'm actually down 
two thirds of a pizza. Right? There's still some left for somebody. Y equals 18 times, one second, Barry. X squared minus two thirds X. I had minus one third, minus another third. Minus two thirds X plus a ninth. I can't forget, now this is the kind of problem where this guy right here hanging back gets left behind. Can't forget him. Gotta do plus five. Now here, I have to distribute. I am not asking you guys to pick up your calculators. I want you to stop and think. When I distribute, I'm gonna do negative 18 times x, I'm sorry, 18 times x squared. 18 x squared. Now, I know it's gonna be subtraction. I got a positive and a negative. What's 18 broken into three parts? Basically, what's 18 divided by three guys? Six. So, how many sixes go into 18? Three of them. What's two thirds of 18? It's two thirds of 18, two sixes. That's all. Now I gotta do 18 times a ninth. What goes into 18 nine times, you guys? What goes into 18 nine times? Two. So what's a ninth of 18? One ninth of 18. Two. Oops. Don't forget this guy, plus five. These are the kind that it's easy to leave that thing hanging right there. Go ahead, uh, Desmond, I'm listening. I'm gonna finish and combine my terms, so go ahead. Okay, I can't go to the different sheet yet. I got one more. Ten. Number ten here. Number ten here. Come grab it if you need it. Let me write ten down before you walk away. Ten. Go ahead. I'm listening, everyone. Sure. Negative two x plus a half squared. Take it. Cool. So on this one, you can treat this as 0.5. It might make your life easier, but I think you guys are capable of multiplying a half and a half, now that you kind of thought about maybe what I was saying and that is the easy part of multiplying, or easy part of fractions. So this is an x squared. This is going to give me a half x. Well, let's think about this, you guys, this combination. What's a half and a half when I put them together? One. Yeah, right. And what's a half times a half? What's one times one? over two times two, okay? So, got that this is one x, so when I go and pull this out, y equals negative two times x squared, a half and a half give me one x plus a quarter. Now, you might not like this quarter out here, but I think we can still figure out what's a quarter of two. Uh, gonna multiply through. Negative 2x squared minus 2x. What's a quarter of 2? I know it's going to be negative. If I broke $2 into four parts, what would be one of those four parts? This was money. 50 cents. Yeah. If I had $2 and I needed to take a quarter of $2, it would be a half. Oh, actually, why don't I just, 50 cents would represent a half. So there's your number 10. Now, what else? 